how to remove carbon buildup permanently. Obviously, you need a great cleaner. And as you've seen in many of my videos testing every single intake valve cleaner known to man, we have one great cleaner here in STP Pro Series intake valve cleaner. However, this isn't just about using a great cleaner because it's not just as simple as that. You need to go a step further. This is really easy to use. Also, if you're pressed for time, you can see that it only takes a few moments to complete this cleaning. This isn't just great for GDI or gasoline direct injection engines. You can also see helps avoid costly engine teardown, improve performance, and helps save fuel, increases horsepower, remove harmful carbon deposits, reduces rough idle, extends engine life, improves acceleration. If for some reason you believe you don't have any problem with buildup on your intake valves or any other area, because for one, you don't have a gasoline direct injection engine, the fuel sprays over the intake valves, that doesn't necessarily mean you're free and clear. I've seen many a times the piston crowns damaged from excess carbon buildup, especially if your car is burning through a lot of motor oil. You can see here we have a borescope camera. This will allow us to go inside the engine and find out for sure. Don't forget, check your PCV valve. Make sure that it's not stuck open or closed. I have plenty of testing videos. It only takes a moment to do this and you can clean it out. So doing this ever so often, it's going to save you a lot of trouble. You don't want to wait until it breaks or get stuck open because um, if you do that can literally destroy your engine. You can also see that we have our system in here so that we can remove any oil going in over the intake valves. Unfortunately it doesn't remove all of the oil. This is connected in line with the PCV valve system it's called an oil catch can. I'm sure you've heard of it. Please do not use one that isn't baffled. And you can see this style is the best because it saves a lot of time. You can remove it as fast as possible. I don't really have much in here because I keep it drained. This is the best way. You don't want to allow it to fill up. You see that for yourself. You do not want that going in around your intake valves, not good. As I said with the STP intake valve cleaner, you need to make sure to use a cleaner every so many miles. Now the cleaners all vary. It could be 5,000 miles or so on. If you're using CRC, if that's your favorite cleaner, I would suggest trying this cleaner out. However, not only the cleaner determines the mileage, but I have to say that the vehicle obviously does because if your engine's burning through a lot more oil, then it speaks for itself. Always speak to your mechanic before performing any type of maintenance to the vehicle and speak to the manufacturer if you have no experiences. You do want to be safe at all times. So I must tell you this, it's very important. Just talking to the manufacturer could provide you with some answers. If they put out any kind of bulletins on the vehicle, any trouble that they've had. However, I will say if you do have the experience and you take the responsibility on your own, you could use that borescope camera. You run into trouble. You're not able to get it through the intake or one of the intake ports. You can't reach the intake valves. You obviously know you could remove the spark plugs and maybe you could see something from there. You may be able to. It will be difficult. However, you'll definitely be able to see the piston crowns. And this is very important because I had a vehicle that was not a gasoline direct injection. The vehicle didn't really use a significant amount of oil. It only used about a quarter of a quart every 5,000 miles. And I would check the vehicle, the piston crowns, I noticed some carbon buildup, 
However, it seemed to be okay. I've seen a lot worse. And I noticed that it had caused damage to one of the piston crowns. So unfortunately, this was a long time ago. I learned my lesson. I know how important it is. So you wanna keep a check on these things. It can really help you out and make your vehicle last and go the distance. As always guys, I wanna thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.